Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in Cheam. I've done lots of videos from Cheam in Surrey. And we're going to have a look around the Tudor building of Whitehall. We were here like six years ago with Patricia. Um, and uh, it's nice to be back. Hopefully it's open, I don't know yet. And then we've got lunch at the Ye old Red Lion. So yeah. to be back some great exhibition here and if you do come to Whitehall it's cheap it's uh, free to come in open Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday I think but it's amazing we also did some paranormal stuff at the old rectory just almost next door back in 2007 so Ching yeah it's a very ancient ancient parish Original wood. Okay. Gotta mind your head a little bit. Because that one's shorter. Six years, I think. No, six years since I've been here last. One of my very earliest videos I did for this YouTube channel, actually, um, back in 2018 with Patricia. So great! I say it's free to come in. It's fantastic. music playing in the background isn't copyright this fantastic old door look at that I can't touch the door obviously but look at that that's amazing fantastic The thing about this door is the original graffiti on there. This fantastic graffiti. It's amazing. <clears throat> Chin School was founded by the Reverend Aldridge. It was believed he was living in uh, Whitehall when he started the school in around 1645. Yeah, the Killick family lived here from 1741 right up to 1963, where it was purchased then by um, Sutton Council and run helpfully by later by the Friends of Whitehall. I love this room, this is the same as it was uh, six years ago. So yeah, the Killick family lived here for oh, over 200 years. Captain James Killick, born here 1816, commander of Challenger, sailor and businessman, died in Margate 1889. Yeah, 
Here lieth, here lived Reverend George Aldrich, founder of Team School, 1602 to 1685. There's a medieval well in the garden. They don't think, there's no evidence at least, that there was a house on this site prior to Whitehall. And do you think it was called Whitehall because of the white panelling? But actually, it, there was a family called the White family who owned property in Cheam, so it could be named after them. There's a, the modern road outside with all the traffic. Um, so yes, yeah, so the medieval well could have just very well been for the community. I mean, we're on the start of the North Downs, there's plenty of wells, uh, sorry, plenty of springs in uh, Surrey. There's the well. Wow, goes down a long way. The well says it's about 20 feet deep. 20 feet, there's a plaque here. Um, 20 feet, the upper part is lined with chalk blocks, a piece of cheen pottery excavated around the well may suggest that it predates a house which is thought to have been built around 1500s. Yeah, here we go. So there you go, a little walk around Whitehall. Fascinating property, absolutely fascinating in the heart of suburbia. Remember Cheen would have been a little village only what, 100 years ago. Um, but now we're going to just pop over to St Dunstan's, a lovely chapel, which we've done paranormal investigations at back in the day. Um, let's go. So just pop back to the car quickly because it's pissing down with rain. I knew it was going to. I knew I was going to, so that's why I've been inside today. But luckily, I've always wanted to go back in here since we first went in there in 2007 to do a paranormal uh, evening, but we have the key to Lumley Chapel, the oldest uh, structure, historic structure in the London Borough of Sutton, over 900 years old. Let's go. So the beautiful Lumley Chapel. This was the chancel, part of the chancel of the old church, and it became Lumley Chapel years later where John Lumley and his family use it as a, it's a mausoleum, really. Yeah. Oh, wow. So a shrine to the Lumley family there, come the lights. Isn't that amazing? the original, original chancel of the church turned into this chapel. Absolutely fantastic. When we were doing the paranormal investigation here back in 2007, I mean, obviously, my, I don't think anywhere is haunted. I think it's everywhere, as I've said a million times. But the lights were doing some very, very weird things. Very weird things. Yeah, it's nice to be... I've been wanting to come back in here for ages. I didn't realise how easy it is. Just pick up the key from Whitehall or the library and you can let yourself in. And there's a, a guest book you can uh, read uh, and add to. The chapel is now looked after by the Church's Conservation Trust, fantastic charity that uh, looks after abandoned and, uh, sorry, places of worship that aren't used for worship anymore. Be vaults underneath as well. Yeah. The um, actress Joanna Lumley is related to the Lumleys, and she yeah, apparently I understood she used to come here quite often to um, share court with her ancestors. Lovely. Seventy-nine. Wow. Yeah, St Dunstan's Church and the Lummy Chapel 
988 AD to 2003, the London Chapel is the sole remaining part of the medieval and Georgian parish church of Chee, which was demolished in 1864 and replaced by the present church next door. Yeah, it's the oldest surviving building in the London Borough Site, being about a thousand years old. So I said a 900, but no, it's over a thousand years old. So Chee's a very, very ancient parish. Golfed up by suburbia, unfortunately. Oh, and look at the ceiling. Look at this craftsmanship, the absolute craftsmanship of this tomb is incredible. Absolutely beautiful. This really is a unique gem in the area, an absolute unique gem, just like Whitehall. 1695. So thank you, Lumbee Chapel. It's been an honour to come in here and look around and visit these fantastic tombs. It's been really interesting coming back again after all these years. Yeah, thank you. Just outside, this little hole here was for the paupers of the village back in medieval times to listen to the service going on. The posh congregation, you know, the rich people, they're inside, everyone else is outside. Um, I don't know how true that is, but that's what I hear. So this is the modern church of St Dunstan's, built in 1864 to replace the earlier, earlier uh, church. Originally went back to Saxon times. Rather lovely, isn't it? Can't believe it today. Once again, I think I said this in a previous video recently that we're in suburbia, but the churches are open. Go out sometimes into the countryside and they're shut. Have a chancel. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know I've been going to a lot of modern churches lately. Um, I think I've been a bit harsh on Victorian churches in the past because they're beautiful buildings, of course they are. But as I said before, they just sort of lack the history, that history you need. Pipes. But so some countries, you know, 1864 is real history, you know. Rectors of St Dunstan's, uh, going right back to 1459 to 2019, until it's very dark. I'll try and brighten the picture a little bit. As I say, I'll probably go into more detail in my Ancient Isle episode from Cheam. I did one from Cheam, one from Carshalton about nine years ago. I'll link that remastered version below. They say that actually there's pre-Norman pre masonry somewhere in this church that was used, um, which might have been from the old chapel, sorry, the old church. Um, where that is, I don't know. But yeah, thank you, St Dunstan's. It's like a couple of other churches, like the one I was saying in Dorking recently, and uh, um, Ramor Commons, very, very tall spire, so you can see it for miles around, absolutely miles around. But uh, yeah. Thank you, and uh, I think our next port of call is going to be Ye Old Red Lion Pub for lunch. Let's go. Make sure you show you the uh, churchyard towards the back. Um,
I've always heard folklore that there's a plague pit somewhere around here from the uh, 1300s. How true that is, I don't know, but apparently there's a plague pit somewhere. Thanks for joining me, folks. I mean, that little exploration turned out much better than I thought. I wasn't expecting to get to Lumley Chapel, which is great. Really nice walking around Whitehall, uh, the Tudor building of Whitehall, which I haven't been in for six years. And I say, inside Lumley Chapel was going back to 2007, the last time we went in there. And that really is a unique, unique building. So yeah, rather pleased. I mean, the weather's awful. I knew it was going to rain, as I said earlier. I knew it was going to rain. Um, that's why I've been doing stuff inside. But I have got a little bit wet walking around Cheam. Um, but now we're going to Ye Old Red Lion Pub, which I think is about 400 years old. And apparently it's got a priest hole, which I do remember. I have been in there a couple of times before, but many years ago. Um, for lunch. I'm going there for lunch, which would be lovely. So yeah. Let's go in Ye Old Red Lion Pub. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And we'll see you next time on the next adventure. Take care.